Hey guys, it's Jen from I Create Crafts. In today's video, I will be showing you step by step how to customize your own Valentine's Day pot holders using HTV and Dollar Tree pot holders. Now let's get started. Valentine's Day is right around the corner and I wanted to show you a few tutorials on how to make really awesome Valentine's Day gifts. So today I'm going to be making customized Dollar Tree Valentine's Day pot holders. And to do this, I'm starting in Design Space in a new canvas here. So I'm going to go to Upload and I purchased these uh, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, sorry, six from Etsy. Uh, you can by all means make your own uh, file or you can buy it from elsewhere like I buy a lot from design bundles um, but I bought these from Etsy so I'm gonna grab all six of these and I'm going to insert it into my new canvas here and I buy a lot from design bundles but um, they didn't have really what I wanted there so what I did here is I just grabbed this and made it a little bit smaller then I'm gonna click away so I can grab each one of these individually so we can see what we're working with and also talking about design bundles, I don't know if you are interested in it, but I buy a lot of my bu my bundles from there. And they are going to be having a dollar deal sale going on December 27th, 2021, and I believe it's 11 o'clock. Um, every time they have a deal going on, or if I find a freebie, I always leave it in the community part of my YouTube channel. So go check that out. You do not want to miss that. They have hundreds and hundreds of dollar deals with like all these you can get for only a dollar. But these particular ones I bought from Etsy. So there's only a few things I'm going to be doing with these. So I'm just going to start with this one to start with. So what the only thing I want to do basically is change the size. So my pot mitt or my oven mitt that's in front of me is a seven by nine, but I don't want it as big. I don't want my decal to be as big as my pot mitt. I want it just a little bit smaller. So I figure I'm going to do it six by six. So I'm going to go up to the unlock box up here and then change it to be six by six. And that's basically all I'm going to do. I really like the way that the color is and everything on here. So I'm going to leave this one alone. I'm going to move it over to the side and I'm going to work with this one. So I'm going to do the same thing. Unlock it up here, change it to be a six by six and then so on and so forth with all of these. But because my oven mint is already red, I don't really want red hearts and stuff. So there's two ways you can do this. You can cut this out the way that it is. And instead of using the red, when your mat comes up on your design space, which will be the next part, you can just put it pink if you're going to be doing all the red pink or vice versa if you want to do it all white. That's one way to do it. Otherwise, another way to do it, I'm going to move this guy over is show you this one maybe. So this one, I'm going to do the same thing. Unlock it, change it to six by six. And so let's say I did want to change the like the black to maybe white. The secret ingredient is love. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> so the way that I do it is I'm going to select all of it, go up to this ungroup button up here, and that will ungroup everything for me. So sometimes it'll leave things together like this one like if you click out and you click in you can see that all of these are the hearts see we can see here so that one's already selected for you so all the hearts are together which is amazing sometimes they don't do that so I'm actually gonna leave this part for now I'm actually gonna take it and move it and now the next part I want to do is get all this together the secret ingredient is love so in order for me to select all of them together I'm gonna select it like this and then I'm gonna go down here and instead of pushing attach here, I'm gonna push weld. And the reason I do weld instead of attach, I made this mistake many times, so I hope you learn from me. So if you push attach and you cut this out, this little piece here will cut out. Even though you don't see it here, there are little pieces attaching this together. So if you were gonna cut this out, it, every little piece that attaches to each other right here and here, are all going to have little cut lines. So instead of attaching, you want to weld. So push this weld button. It won't change anything. It will just weld it together rather than have you guys have that little uh, cut line there. So 
Again, I wanted to change the color to white. So with this selected already, I go up to the color box up here and I change it to white. This is optional. You do not have to do this. You can do whatever color you want. And then you can just bring these hearts back. And it doesn't matter where I'm putting my hearts right now. I can put it over here if I want because I already resized it to what I want. And it's going to cut it all out individually anyway. So the secret ingredient is love is all going to cut out as you see it. So that's exactly what I wanted. So the other part I want to do is the heart. So I have the hearts. Whoops. Let's grab the hearts. Let's get them. So I have the heart selected here. So I want these guys like a pink color maybe because I don't want it red because my oven mint is red. So the same thing. Go to the color box up here and I just choose pink. This doesn't have to be the exact pink as your um, vinyl. It's just pink so I can tell what it is when I cut it out. So this one is completely finished. I'm actually going to just, hmm, thinking the best way to do this, move this guy down since he's already all finished and then just work with the next one. So I want to change the size again so I unlocked it and then just change it to a 6x6. Six six. Spread the love. Well, isn't that cute? So again, you can leave it the way it is if you want um, or you can change the color however you want to do it. It's just the same way. You can always look up here where it's ungrouped. You can tell that these guys are together. This little guy is all by himself. The love and the are all alone. So if you wanted to get those together, I'm just trying to find the spread part because right here we go because I want to put all this together. So here's spread the love. Even though it says spread the love, all these will cut out individually. So if I was going to go to make it right now, it would cut out spread on one line, the on another line, and love on another line. So I like to try to keep them together whenever I can. So I'm actually going to grab this spread one here on the side. I'm going to hold down my command button. I'm going to hold, I'm going to, while I'm holding the command button, I'm going to left click on the left click on love and also left click on cut or i'm sorry on the spatula so i have all four of these pieces together love spatula the and spread so now i'm going to do the same thing and weld it because the same thing over here these pieces would cut out and you would definitely see that so don't make the mistake i did many times so you go down here and you click the weld button and now it just welded all those pieces together for you and the hearts will be cut out separately, I believe. Um, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. It looks like they're going to cut out. Whoops, that's the wrong one. It looks like they're going to cut out together. So I'm going to leave this one. That one is finished as well. I think I might actually change one more um, because I have some red, but I have it's like a glitter red. And I want to try that one out. And you have to cut that differently than you do just regular HTV. So I'm going to show you really quick. So it's already the six by six. That's exactly what I want. I'm going to make my screen a little bit bigger so we can see it. So with this one, you want to detach this one because I want to select just the heart. So I'm going to, I have it selected. I'm going to go up to ungroup and it's going to ungroup each piece of these for me. So I'm going to look. Okay, that's good. So all these hearts are already attached to each other, which is perfect the way I would want it. So the other way I'm going to do it is I'm going to hold on the command button and I'm going to click on this little mitt here. And that gave me all of them, all the hearts and then the mitt. So I'm going to go ahead and attach that. So when it cuts out, it will cut out exactly as you see it, just like this. And the other thing I want to do is change the color because I want it to be separate from this. So with the selected, go up to the color box again. And I'm just going to change a different color red. So this one, I know that I'm going to be using the glitter vinyl, the glitter HTV. So I'm going to shrink my screen and show you guys what I got. Okay, so here is what I like looking at. It shows me that I, I made all the stuff, all the changes that I needed to. So now it's going to cut out as you see it because I welded it now. So it's again with the black and then this one. So, but a thing with this one, you can change the mat. So I want to put this one on one single mat. So to do that, I'm actually going to grab this one, select these three little dots up here and it says move object. And I'm going to try to put them on the same page. So I'm going to move this one over, see if this one will fit kind of like move it around there. So now I can cut this one out as the same one. And I got rid of this mat here. So this one's not going to cut anything. And I don't think that this last one is going to fit, but we'll see. So again, I'm going to go with three dots, move object and see if it will fit here. I'm not sure if we'll get it. Nope. 
So I'm gonna change this to a bigger mat so I can cut out one big piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and find the one, this one, and change it from a 12 by 12 to a 12 by 24. And then that will let me cut it all out on one piece. I'm just trying to allow myself a little bit of room to get in with the scissors here. So I'm gonna go ahead with the last black one here and change it. If you have just a little tint of a different color of black, it's going to give you a different uh, sheet, sheets on the side here. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Three little dots, move to object, and then I'm gonna move it to the big one that I was working with. Now I don't have to have um, three or four different black mats. They're all gonna be the same. They're all gonna be the same black anyway. And again, I'm just trying to go in where I have enough room with my scissors to cut out the pieces here, which is okay. So got rid of those two mats, which is amazing. And then we have these two reds because it is a little bit different color. And remember, I wanna do this one, the glitter vinyl. So I'm gonna leave that one. I'm gonna change these ones. Sometimes when you're in the zone, you kind of forget to change the color or check if it's the same color. So this is just the easiest way to do it. So I wanna change this mat to this one. So I'm gonna click on the eight, click on the three dots, move object, and I'm gonna move it to the red one here. So there we go. So you just wanna make sure that you move it and I'm gonna move these guys over that I know that this is my one part here and then this part goes together. So this mat is no longer gonna cut, this one, this one's no longer gonna cut, and this is going to be my darker one. So one other thing, please, please, please stick with me, guys. You wanna always mirror your image when you're using HTV, heat transfer vinyl. So go ahead and click mirror on each one of these. So I'm just gonna go through and make sure I click each one of these. These ones don't matter, there's nothing on it and then mirror it, and then that's it. So I hope you guys stuck with me for this. I know it was a little bit longer, but I wanted to show you everything. And if I go ahead and click continue, it's not gonna um, attach, uh, connect to my Bluetooth because I'm in a new office and I don't have my Bluetooth, I don't have my Cricut set up to my computer yet. So I have to start doing that. So I just take my computer, go back to my other room, cut it out. So I will get this set up, I will cut it out, I'll weed it out, and I'll show you the next step. Okay guys, so I have my files done and cut out and weeded. I think they turned out amazing. I love them. This one is the secret ingredient is love. And here are my pot mitts that I was talking about. So I left this on just to show you guys. I'm just gonna take it off really quick. I bought this from the dollar store. Um, I actually did a video on this for Christmas. So these are leftover from Christmas time. So I have a heat press here. I love it. If you guys don't have a heat press, I seriously, seriously wish you would invest in one. I had the Easy Press. I hated it. I had it for less than a week and I just resold it. And I didn't like it. It was just like an iron to me where you're just pressing down and pushing. This thing does it all for you. So I have it set at 330 for 20 degrees. Um, I'm sorry, 330 degrees for 20 seconds um, because this is polyester. So the first thing you want to do is just give it a really quick. Uh, press if you have a heat press or if you have an iron you can use an iron or if you have an easy press But you want to make sure it's warm first before you get started and nice and flat So now I'm just taking my paper or sorry my vinyl and figuring out where I want the hearts to go Versus this because I don't want the hearts being on top so the hearts go on the bottom So I'm just kind of looking to see where I want them to go It's kind of the fun part is matching it up I'm trying not too much to put it over the heart, but I like it where it is. So I'm gonna leave the white part with the hearts. I'm gonna take my paper here, my protective covering, and I'm holding it here so it doesn't move. And then I'm gonna push it down for the 20 seconds. But I love this machine because that's it. My hands are free. I don't have to do anything. I can talk to you guys tells me when it's done. I absolutely love this. I'll leave the link below in case you're interested in it. It is about 100. I think the price went up. But when I bought it, it was about 125. I think it's about 165 now. This is a 15 by 15. It's done. I love it. So you just want to pull up, pull this away, and then my heat transfer is a quick pull or a hot pull. So I'm done with that part. Next part is to put on this one the secret ingredient. So I'm just going to put that one right over, trying to center it with my mat or my glove, whatever you want to call it. And then once you get it where you like it, you just put your paper over again and then press it 
for another 20 seconds and that is it. It is so easy. I'm going to try to sell these at our local craft store down the street from me. Um, they seem to do really well for Christmas, so we're going to try uh, Valentine's. So this is done. I just want to lift up and pull this away. I just go slow to make sure everything stuck really well, which it did. So here is what it looks like. I love it. What do you guys think? You like this? I love it. See how easy it was? It really did not take that long from start to finish. And then you can take like bags of cookie mix or like brownies or anything in here and stick it in there. Put like a whisk in it or one of those uh, spatulas in it. But make it nice. Just you could sell it like this the way it is. You could give it away like this. You can just add to it. So that was that simple. So here is another one I did. This one is baked with love, but then this one is the glitter HTV for the little hearts on here. So again, I'm just going to take it and kind of eyeball it to see where it should go before I lay the top part down. Again, once you get it where you want it, just kind of hold it down. I should have put the heat press on it already, and I forgot to take my tag off, but I want to do that because it is plastic and I do not want it to melt. So leave that on, put your protective covering over it, press it for the 20 seconds. It's done. Just pull up, peel this away. Oh wow, I love this glitter HTV, that is cool. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And it wasn't too bad to um, to weed out. I thought it would be a lot harder because it was glitter, but it's not. So I'm just going to take this other one and I'm going and put it on the center here. Watching the top part where my letters go. And watching the bottom part to make sure that they are centered. Again, once you get it where you like it, take your paper. It's kind of holding down the other part so it doesn't lift up and then press it for another 20 seconds but I'm gonna finish these ones up this one is just says spread the love and this is also thick glitter HTV but I really love it so I'm gonna finish these up really quick and then I'll lay it out and show you what they all look like but I hope you're liking this and I hope you're getting a lot of great information about this give me a thumbs up if you are I hope you enjoy this Valentine craft tutorial. I had a lot of fun creating these and I plan to sell these at our local craft store here in my town. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and leave me a thumbs up and a comment below. Happy crafting everyone!